Pavel Durov's arrest could complicate Russian plans in Ukraine. Telegram is very popular amongst Russian speakers and plays a crucial role in the war in Ukraine, both for the operations on the ground and for the spreading of Moscow's narrative. According to the Institute for the Study of War, it is, quote, the main alternative to official communications for Russian military personnel in Ukraine. It's not just a news source, but it's a kind of key messenger uh, that is used, uh, that is used uh, for coordination of action on different levels to store video, to uh, share large files and all these kind of things. Uh, and you've got a lot of channels who are directly, more or less directly connected with the Kremlin or with the DOD, the Department of Defense um, of, uh, of, uh, of Russia. Telegram is an encrypted chat and avoided being put under Russian government control in 2018. But according to experts, the Kremlin has managed to manipulate it, having brought in stricter legislation on its activities. The owners of channels that are um, grouping more than 10,000 uh, followers have to give the information to Rosco Mazdor, which is more or less as the organization who is in charge of controlling all the medias and social networks. In the same law, they are explaining that if you've got a channel who is uh, followed by more than 500,000 uh, packs, you had to give all the information on your users just if RKN or the FSB is asking it. So there is a kind of, not a control, but let's say a kind of more or less cooperation. With its CEO in prison in a European country, Russian forces may start leaving Telegram, which in an extreme scenario could also be totally blocked in the country. This uncertainty will likely impact Russian frontline operations, even if it seems unlikely that the French authorities could disclose the information contained in the encrypted chats. If they could try to, 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 to do so, it will be illegal huh? because at the EU level there is no decision about you know being allowed to, to, to read uh, messages uh, huh? so three months ago the EU could not reach an agreement on this so yeah they could try this the secret services or whatever but I really don't think that's that's the main problem no huh? Durov's detention is turning into a diplomatic incident between France and Russia. The Russian embassy in Paris accused France of refusing to cooperate. But French President Macron insisted that the arrest was not a political decision.